your, your mindset going into this one? Um, you know, we're excited. Uh, home game, uh, Sunday, Mother's Day. I think everyone's pretty pumped up. Uh, we're excited to bring a little more juice to the game, and hopefully it's a, it's a good night. How do you get to the 10 minutes, the final 10 minutes of the third period earlier tonight from you guys, the way you played then? Yeah, I mean, uh, carry over what we were just doing in the third. I thought we played well. Uh, we were more loose. Um, guys were making plays, and uh, having that desperation, like you said earlier, is, is what we need. How do you make up for no Brad Marchand in the lineup tonight? Uh, it's going to be hard. I mean, it's not going to be one guy. It's got to be uh, all of us uh, as a group. Um, he brings more than what you just see on the ice. So, um, you know, we have to do that as well and uh, have a lot of guys, you know, uh, step up and talk. He's obviously a vocal leader as well. And um, on the ice, uh, his, his actual play is going to be hard to make up. But like I said, it has to be a, as a group. Trent, how do you do a better job handling their four check? Um, I think, you know, forwards getting, getting hold ups. Um, you know, I think we can do a better job of uh, when we're in the offensive zone, making it harder for them to, uh, you know, come out with speed and, um, you know, um, I guess being that, uh, that kind of that F3 of, of holding them up and uh, making making them maybe just chip pucks in and uh, not, not through the middle of the ice. So. Good Chuck challenged, uh, you know, Pasta. Bennett hits Marshy. Do you yeah. need to respond to that tonight while, while also keeping in mind that you need to, you know, score goals and win the game? Yeah, I mean, there could be a time in the game and that that can happen. Uh, you know, that's something we, we might address. Uh, but just it's you know it's a two-one series, and uh, we got to be smart too. Uh, you know, we've gave them a lot of power plays already, so uh, try to limit it and do it in a smart way. Freddie, some regret there team-wide that it's the captain who goes down from a dirty hit. There's no retaliation during the game. Uh, I mean, yeah, like during the game, um, it was kind of hard to. So no, it was a dirty hit. I don't think we all kind of really knew how bad it was. Um, I think guys have now seen a replay of it slowed down, and you can kind of see what he did. Um, at the time, uh, I don't know if we knew how bad it was. And, uh, I guess now we do. How much does it tick you off, though, the hit, when you look back on it now? Yeah, I mean, I think it pisses off everyone. And, um, I think this whole team kind of ticks everyone off, to be honest. Um, so um, and there's some individuals, obviously, that maybe um, Make guys more frustrated and more mad, but uh, you can't use it. Like I said, as maybe as frustration, you, you still got to uh, go out and do the job. We're, we're still down two one, uh, and trying to make it two two tonight. Yeah, how fine line. Oh, what kind of fine line is that balance of you know trying to take care of business but also taking care of something like that? Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a really fine line. I mean, I'm sure um, all these refs are aware of what happened um, the last three games, what happened last game, and uh, it's not going to be like. Um, you know, in a, in a nice, in a, in a great world, we can just go, you know, do something about it and, and be fair, eyeball for an eyeball. But sometimes that's not exactly how it works, and uh, you just got to find your spot. We didn't, didn't know what happened until well after the game. What, yeah. When did you guys know? Uh, yeah, I mean, similar time. I don't know exactly when, but when we were playing, I didn't, I didn't exactly, even watching um, right away. You kind of have to slow it down and, and watch, and then you see. Uh, we kind of heard, heard a little bit about it, but um, now watching, obviously, I, I don't know when I found out, but it wasn't during the game.